Good morning, everybody. Ryan here with Our New Land. I have not looked inside of the bell tent in at least a month. We are mid-June right now, and I need to get it cleared out, and I need to take it down. So big project of the day is checking out the bell tent, see on, seeing how everything's doing and how everything is inside. Um, it's probably been closer to two months, actually. So it's going to be really interesting, one, to see how it's holding up, but also what's going to be interesting is like the UVs coming through the tent had bleached out some of my uh, sleeping bags that I left in there. So I'm going to take those out. I need to get them cleaned. The other big thing is I have my trifold mattresses and I'm very nervous about how I'm going to store those. I don't have space for them in my house. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to wrap them in plastic, then put them back in their, their storage little carrier things and then put them in the shipping container. And then maybe I'll put a tarp over top of them. I'm most nervous about just moisture, which I'm probably overthinking it, but I think that's what we're gonna do. I will probably try to unload everything out of there. We'll see. I got a new tool, which I'm very excited about. I'm about to pull it out, show it to you. We got it earlier this year. It's been a total game changer for the family. Why can't we just get back to the old ones that actually flow? Well, one thing I definitely didn't think about was when I was putting gas in the side-by-side -side with those terrible gas cans, is now I have gas all over my hands and I'm supposed to clean up and wrap these mattresses in plastic. Don't know if I'm gonna do that now. Well, the chestnut trees are looking pretty good and we got so much rain. That bucket is like a quarter full. It's fantastic. So I'm trying to pick this bucket up without removing the cage to see if that hole is clogged and I can't reach it. Check this out. Cool little flashlight my wife got me for Christmas. It's got a hook. Got it. Well, that just happened. A flashlight and now it's in there. Genius. So a couple things. One, um, we just got rain here today because every bucket has a lot of water in it. They're not clogged. The also, the other funny thing is I didn't want to have to remove this. You know, Devin put all these up. And this whole time, I've thought that they were attached and tied to the post. They are not. You can just pick them up. So, drop my flashlight in the water for no reason. But it still works. The trees look great. We now have the two IBC totes. We have the roof on the shipping container shed. We have um, gutters. Now, we just need to plumb everything and start collecting water. And we are going to plant some apple trees this fall, which we're so excited about. I do not get tired of this view. All right, here is the buckwheat field. A little right here in the field of buckwheat. And we put down some seed, but the mower wasn't working. So we just, Devin just drug it with the harrow. And I don't think that did enough because there is a little bit of buckwheat sprouting, but definitely not much. So I think I'm gonna go see if I can get that mower running and come out here and mow this. All right, looking pretty good. Well, that's fine. The bungee I replaced right there, looks like one of them broke. One of them's hanging in there. And then this, oh, just the uh, zip tie broke. Devin's is looking good. All right, so the tents held up good. Now we're gonna go inside and take a look. I'm just, I'm trying to decide, do I leave it up or do I take it down? But I'm just looking in here 
everything looks tidy and clean. And like, maybe I should just leave it up, you know? What do y'all think? All right, let's go check it out. Well, for one, it's quite steamy in here. Holy moly. That's why this thing works well for keeping it heated. I was gonna take these out, wrap them, store them in the shipping container, you know, take the stove out, but maybe we just leave the tents up. I'm definitely gonna take those back and wash them. It's crazy how bleached these, look at the difference. I mean, this side's kind of bleached too, but dark, super light. I think I'm just gonna leave everything in here. We might just leave the tent up all summer. I don't know, please, if you have a bell tent, give me your opinion, but I think I'm gonna leave it. I think I'm gonna leave everything in here. There's a way better look <laughs> at what the sun did through the tent. Isn't that amazing? I just noticed this, that's concerning. That that is fraying so bad. Oh man, probably gonna have to order some new, new ones from White Duck. I guess I'll throw another one of those temporary ones on there as a backup. So I just got another one of these little temporary ones and pulled one of these out to tighten it and then just tied a new little knot right there. So yeah, I'll need to get some new ones from White Duck, but that's disappointing because I've had two of these break now and you know, this isn't even on a dowel. So we'll see what they say. Start. So Devin had some trouble with it the other day. Let's see what we can figure out. I should probably check to see if it has gas, but surely he did that, right? Oh, shoot. There goes the snake. That looked like a little copperhead. I could be wrong. Did we get that on camera? Do we see him under there? Look, I'm not necessarily afraid of snakes, <laughs> but I don't like them. Uh, and of course, I just dropped a little bolt right down here. Then I don't know, man, just sticking your hand down there and grabbing it. Even though that snake wasn't big, it's still, still kind of scary. If you've never used anything like this and you've always just carried around traditional jumper cables, man, I remember the first time I saw one, I had a guy in my office use it. And I said, there is no way that that's gonna jumpstart my truck. And I just did it on a coworker's um, Tundra the other day. And I didn't even recharge this thing because it's still at like 80%. Turn it on. But man, it works great. I feel like we use it almost every time we have to come out of here to either air that up or the four-wheeler. Well, it's been a good day so far. You know, I think venison summer sausage is my favorite thing to eat out here. It's like the perfect meal. I got real mo happy. I mowed the first food plot and then I started having fun. So I mowed all the fence lines. Then I mowed all this area. Which you probably can't tell. I mowed the right side of the road, not the left. Mowed in front of the shipping container. The Swisher mower is so awesome. I'm taking a break, having some summer sausage from a animal I shot in November. Um, mm, it's delicious. So I'm gonna eat this, go get some gas in town, bring them back out here, drop them off, and uh, I think I'm gonna call it a day. It is Father's Day, so I'm gonna go hang out with the kids. Hope everyone's doing great and having a good summer. And uh, yeah, give us a like, subscribe if you're not. Take care.